Hey, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is, once again, Master Paul. Happy and grateful to be connecting with you today. It is Tuesday, and it is December, and we'll call it the 12th or 13th of the month, and I am happy to be connecting with you today. Today is day two of the 10 Das, 10 days of the 10 Das. Yesterday, we focused on Da I, the greatest love. Each and every day of these 10 days of the 10 Das is a tremendous opportunity to open our heart, to awaken to the qualities of life that basically can remove a lot of our suffering. And so if you didn't get a chance to see yesterday's first day of the 10 day of 10 Da, I invite you to uh, come to my Facebook page, like and subscribe, and then scroll down a little bit and you will see yesterday's wisdom and teachings. So each day of the Ten Das are brought to us through the wisdom teachings of my spiritual teacher, Dr. and Master Shah. And he is one of the co-authors of this book. This book is called Soul Over Matter. And Dr. Master Shah is the Mandarin uh, Chinese gentleman here. And uh, the reason they call him Master is because he is. He is a master of very many things, including finances. So he wrote a book called Soul Over Matter in which he shares the highest and next layer of understanding is heal things at the level of soul, not mind over matter. It's even higher than that. So Master Shah also has books on science. He has co-written books with physicists and taught the physicists how to go further into understanding physics. <clears throat> and yet Dr. and Master Shah is simply a beautiful soul who brought great wisdom to humanity including the wisdom we're working with right now, which is the Ten Da. He received this information um, uh, over many, many years, but it's condensed it down to the Ten Great Qualities, uh, known as the Ten Da. Da means greatest. So there is the greatest love, which I spoke about yesterday. Greatest forgiveness, today's focus. Greatest compassion. Da, uh, da tsu bei. Greatest compassion is often <coughs> directly related to this beautiful soul behind me here. This is Kuan Yin. Uh, she is the Buddha of compassion. Um, da Guang Ming, which is the greatest light. <coughs> da Chen Bei, the greatest humility or lack of ego. Then there is another wonderful quality, Da He She, which is the greatest harmony. Da uh, Yuan Man, excuse me, Da Chang Sheng, which is greatest flourishing. Who who doesn't want to flourish in their life, right? And then greatest gratitude, Da Ganen. The last two of the ten great Das are Da Fu Wu and Da Yuan Man. Da Fu Wu means greatest service. Da Yuan Man means greatest enlightenment. The reason greatest enlightenment is the tenth of the great qualities because when you master the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, harmony, uh, humility, the greatest gratitude, greatest uh, forgiveness, the greatest flourishing, the greatest service, then you are an enlightened being. So these qualities uh, is what I'll be expounding on today. <clears throat> I'll be reading from Master Shaw's book. It's called Soul Over Matter. And uh, he actually touches on the first seven in here. And then we'll cover the other three uh, through a different modality. But uh, he has also created a mantra. For those that watched yesterday, you saw me chant, and I invited you to chant along with me. Uh, part of the ten, um, the ten line, it's not a ten line mantra, it's actually four or five uh, lines per da. And so yesterday, for those that are just checking in, the mantra is yi shir da ai, wu tiao jian ai. Rong hua, zhuang hua, uh, xin qing, cheng ming. This translates to the first of the ten da qualities is the greatest love. Give unconditional love to others. This removes all disasters and challenges, and it clears and purifies the heart. So this is the translation of the mantra. And so today we're going to be working on the second day of this mantra which is the greatest forgiveness. There, of course, will be wisdom and teachings. Uh, if you know you're a person that needs some assistance with mantra, please go back to a teaching I did last week. 
I did a really, really, really powerful teaching. It was Wednesday or Thursday last week. And I did a very, very deep 20, 30 minute forgiveness practice, walking people through uh, forgiving others, forgiving self. It was a very powerful and deep practice. It'll be pretty obvious in the title of the live stream which one is the one. So if you came, in, came because uh, this title resonates with you, make sure you watch that. <clears throat> this, uh, this teaching, I won't do a, a huge deep forgiveness practice. But I will share with you the wisdoms, how to do them uh, by yourself. So let me check in with who's joined us. Welcome, Christina Thorson. Aloha, Heather. Welcome to Ron DeMarcus and Aloha, Theresa. <coughs> Aloha uh, to Linda. Linda Smith. And welcome, Kristen Rojas. Aloha, Fernand. Faranaz, Faranaz, welcome Lisa, welcome Larissa, and aloha Mike LeBlanc. Welcome also to Janet Blair and Tammy, Tammy Lee, and Kathy Arnold, welcome, welcome Griselda. Aloha Ferdy, aloha Becky. <coughs> welcome Pat and aloha Carol Federico. Welcome also to Helena. And welcome Anjali, aloha Elizabeth, welcome Seema. Welcome, Marie Franklin. And if I missed anyone, please forgive me. Thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this live stream. Kristen Rojas is an amazing universal servant. She does a lot of sharing of my live streams. But uh, she's in Facebook jail right now because uh, she shares a lot. And Facebook basically shuts her down because they don't like when people share too much according to their algorithms. So any sharing you do would be greatly appreciated. And so, let us go ahead and connect first, heart to heart, soul to soul. And we'd use the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to accomplish that. So we place our hands in Soul Light, Soul Service hand position. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center. And the right hand remains pointed towards heaven, just like a regular prayer position. Close your eyes and let us invite in the beings of light. <clears throat> there are layers of the divine, the Tao and the Source. Loved angels, healing angels and archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifas and saints, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, their beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Namo Amitofu and Kuan Chiyin Pusa, beloved Kuan Yin, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints. <clears throat> we love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you, ask for your presence today to assist in whatever way is most appropriate so that each and every one of us can more fully develop our forgiveness, so that each and every one of us can release the blockages to a higher understanding of this great virtue known as Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, we love you, honor you, appreciate you. We ask you to please turn on. And we ask you that as we chant Love, Peace and Harmony, that you radiate your frequencies and release each and every one of us of any blockages that might be inhibiting us from forgiving. We are very grateful. And we invite all souls and all universes to chant Love, Peace and Harmony with us at this time. <clears throat> so this is a mantra for those that are new. You are welcome to uh, make a request and receive the blessing. Everyone else, welcome to join in and chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. Wo, I, to run, run, lay. On, li, rung, her, mu, shur, shung. Shung, I, ping, on, a, se. Shang I ping on her say I love my heart and soul 
I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just feels good chanting that song, doesn't it? So welcome, Vanessa. Welcome, everyone else. Let me reposition my seat here. <clears throat> okay. So for those that wish to follow along, I'm in the Soul Over Matter book. This is page 88. 89, excuse me. And this is the wisdom of Da Quan Shu. Da means greatest. Quan Shu means forgiveness. So Da Quan Shu means the greatest forgiveness. Within a family, within a relationship, within the workplace, within a business, there can be many conflicts and challenges. Applying forgiveness is vital to transform these blockages. It is vital to transforming the blockages to relationship, to flourishing, to your health. It is vital to love and peace and harmony. Ancient wisdom is that love, peace, and harmony can bring great financial blessings. Love, peace, and harmony can bring great financial blessings. Ancient wisdom is that love, peace, and harmony can bring great flourishing. Flourishing is not limited to blessings of the finances. It means flourishing of health, flourishing of a beautiful, loving, flourishing relationship. Forgiveness practice is the key to self-clears one's negative, personal, and ancestral karma. The one sentence secret about karma is that that Master Shah shares in his book, The Power of Soul, is karma is the root cause of failure in every aspect of life. Doing forgiveness practice, you could clear your root blockages in every aspect of your life. So it's actually a key solution. Why does Master Shah teach that when you practice the first nine da's, you reach the tenth da of the greatest enlightenment? Because when you employ the greatest love, it melts all blockages. When you employ the greatest forgiveness, it reverses negative karma. Very basic teaching, but it's very real and authentic teaching. Teaching that if actualized and if practiced, makes a huge difference in your life. Welcome, Julia. <clears throat> so, in fact, doing forgiveness practice sincerely is vital to achieve flourishing in these different areas of your life. The more you do forgiveness practice, the more flourishing you could receive. Some people may think that they already have reasonable flourishing. Their life is good, they have good relationship, money's not too much of a problem, everything's good. But without doing this kind of practice, remember that individuals have both good karma and some unpleasant karma, and you never know when something may come up. So it's always good to have extra heaven's flowers in your side. So when we do forgiveness practice, when we chant to serve others, we are releasing unpleasant karma that might be coming towards us, and we are gaining good karma. So it's a very good thing to practice. So uh, even if you do practice, good virtue along with uh, good efforts always creates good results. Forgiveness practice is the golden pearl to transform the areas of your life that need to be transformed. So what Master Shah teaches, as, uh, as Mandarin Chinese is his native language, he always receives in flow and he received the Tenda Mantra. <clears throat> Yesterday I sang the first level and now I will sing the first level and then I will add the second level and I'm hoping that you will continue to grow with me. 
Now the first mantra is Da I. Here is what we chanted yesterday. Yishir Da I Wu Tiao Jian Nai Rong Hua Zai Nan Xin Qing Shan Ming And that translates the first of the ten da qualities is to give unconditional love, remove all kinds of disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. Now, the second of the ten da's goes like this. Ar da quan shu wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Chang I Ping On He Xie. So Kristen uh, will post those words for you in, in her chat area so you can see them. And um, thank you, Kristen. And what they stand for, R. Da Quan Shu. The second of the ten da qualities is greatest forgiveness. E R San one two three. You know, in, in English we say one two three. Yi R San is Mandarin Chinese. So R is number two. The second of the ten da qualities is the greatest forgiveness. R da Quan Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo. You see how they sound very similar, reversed? Well, in English, I forgive you, you forgive me. I forgive you, you forgive me. The word in the middle is the same. I forgive you, you forgive me. So a lot of it repeats. Wo yuan, yuan, y-u-a-n, yuan liang ni, ni, yuan liang wo. And the last line is, Xiang Ai Ping An He She, which actually translates to love, peace, and harmony. Mashas created a love, peace, harmony calligraphy, and when he created it, he named it Wo Ai Xing An He Pe She. So after uh, now pronouncing it many, many times, it's easy, it rolls off my tongue. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not easy for first timers. But that's what it means. So what is the mantra? What is the meaning behind it? I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. It's a very simple statement because we find ourselves very often in a lack of love, in a lack of peace in our hearts, and a lack of harmonious conditions in our lives. Our relationships are inharmonious. Our finances could be inharmonious. Our health could be in a lack of harmony. If our health is in a lack of harmony, it impacts our peacefulness. It impacts everything. The peacefulness in our finances often impact the peacefulness in our health and so forth. And so I found it quite interesting that Master Shah revealed these 10 Da's in a money-based book. Soul Over Matter is a book about how you can uh, grow your finances with the comprehension of karma. Because karma is a spiritual debt or a virtue did good karma, you have virtue. You did bad karma, you have debt. Very simple. And so his teachings that he brought to the world of mind over matter and co-wrote this book with, with other people is go outside of the dogma of mind over matter. You can, there are a lot of people that take the million man courses and maybe only 1% actually succeed at it. You know, even, even the man who co-wrote the book with him told Master Shah that. He said they're doing everything else everybody else is doing, but they're not being successful. They're, they're doing the practices, doing everything I taught them, but they're not being successful. He says, I don't know why. Master Shah looked at this man, he says, very simple. They have karma at the level of soul. You can do all the mind over matter you want, but if you don't heal things at the level of soul first, you're just going to get more of what you don't want. So the wisdom when we chant the Da'ai, when we chant the Da Quan Shu, is that what we chant is what we become. When we chant, give unconditional love, melt all disasters and blockages, clear the heart. That's what we're chanting with the first line. When we chant, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony, we are manifesting what it is we want. We are clearing the blockages that will naturally allow for 
prosperity, flourishing of all areas of your life to come. So I just find it amazing that Master Shah is able to encapsulate all that in these ten da qualities, one by one. So now let's chant this together, the Da Quan Shu. I will chant it four times in a row and then we'll do the English. And welcome Julia Mofa. Welcome also to, to Richard Rogers. Welcome uh, Michelle Blanding and Tony. Welcome also to Tony Tay and Tony Seymour, both of you. And you may chant this with me. Kristen has posted these words in her timeline. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a dry mouth today. Welcome, Sasha. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. <coughs> so, Doc wants you second forgiveness. Our Ni Wan Liang Wo Xiang Ai Ping An He Xie Ar Da Kuan Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Wan Liang Wo Xiang I ping on her Ping on her Very beautiful, isn't it? So what does it translate to in English? Our Da Quan Shu. The second of the ten Da qualities is greatest forgiveness. Wo Yuan Liang Ni, I forgive you. Ni Yuan Liang Wo, you forgive me. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. So now let's chant those four lines together. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. One more time. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Uh -huh. And so now we will practice the first line and the second line together. Ishur da I is the first line. Ishur da I, Wu Tiao Jen I, Rong Hua Zainan, Xin Qi Sheng Ming. And this is again the first style, the greatest love. So I will do it a couple times, four times together, so you can hear the first da and the second da together. Yishur da'ai 
无条件来融化灾难。献清生命，二大宽恕，我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐。So welcome, Jennifer Maria. So again, continue to chant. Isher dai wu tiao jian ai rong hua zai nang xin qing shen ming er da kuan shu wu. 原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和和谐。好。You know, I don't know what your experience on your side, but to me, it's so bright. It's so bright. I can hardly keep my eyes open. There's so much frequency in the room right now. That frequency is going out to you and blessing you, clearing your self self karma clearing right now, just by chanting along with me, or even if your eyes are closed, receiving. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do one more time. Mandarin and English for the first da and the second da. 一时大爱无条件来融化，在那心情生命，二大宽恕我原谅你。你原谅我，相爱平安和谐。Beautiful. So the first of the ten dot qualities, die the greatest love, melts all blockages, bring unconditional love to others. Create the clearing of disasters. Create the clearing of things that could happen in your life by bringing unconditional love to others. That's the first da. The second one, offer forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Bring love, peace, and harmony into your life. Very, very simple wisdom. Why does Master Shah suggest that we chant it? We could just have this conversation, right? I could just be speaking back and forth. Why do you? Why am I chanting, right? We have twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three people today. A lot of people come in, blip back out. Oh, some guy's just chanting. Those that stick around are the most blessed. Chanting carries a very, very high frequency. Chanting carries with it the frequency of the the deliverer. Deliverer. This this wisdom, all of Master Shah's wisdom, comes from the heavenly realms. It's not something he sits down with his mind and writes out. I've had this conversation with you before. You know, he writes his books, and you know they're written in a week. And when he reads his own books, he's like, "What does that word mean? What does that word mean?" He just, when he writes, heaven's there. They're giving him words. He's dictating it. Somebody's typing it. It's heavenly wisdom. You don't get eleven New York Times bestsellers accidentally. So when you receive the mantras, it's heavenly frequency. Why am I having difficulty keeping my eyes open talking to you? I'm literally knocking out, just chanting for you. Because the frequency is in the words, it's a literally a、um, an order. Okay, Master Shah taught about what's called soul orders. When、uh, when we can literally give our soul orders,、um, or should I repeat that? Our soul can give our body orders. So when we say, "Clear all blockages," 
forgive others, receive forgiveness, open my heart to enlightenment. These are things that are actually happening at the soul level. Now also what is happening is when we enact these in our life, because this is a lot more than just chanting, you know, come spend an hour with me, thank you, I appreciate that, but it's probably not going to change your life. It's the practice that will change your life. It's the enactment, the chanting that will change your life. Kristen posted um, the, uh, the link to the YouTube of Master Shah chanting this Tenda Mantra. I tell you, you want to self-clear blockages? Just put that on loop and just listen to him chanting it. It's like, it's like the world's biggest free gift, uh, just having Master Shah chant on your behalf the Ten Das. If he's chanting, clearing love, forgiveness, ego blockages, flourishing blockages, service-related blockages, harmony-related blockages. You think that's not going to help your relationships? Of course it will. Okay? So, but well, we have to do our own work as well. These are just tools that are available to us. So welcome Lillian, aloha, and welcome also to NNC. Welcome Tracy. Welcome Johnny. Good to see you. Welcome Maria Crispy. And aloha Catherine. Let's see if there's any additional wisdom here. So we're going to do this to offer service to humanity, okay? Because one of the highest wisdoms is that when we offer unconditional service to humanity, then humanity says thank you. How does humanity say thank you? Do they know you're chanting? Do they know you're in here, uh, all of us together are chanting? Uh, they, at the personality level, no. At the level of soul, absolutely they know. Okay? So when we turn on uh, our treasures, when we chant to serve humanity, all of the souls that are impacted, how do they say thank you? They say thank you by offering us virtue. They say thank you. I'm so grateful that you're chanting to bless my soul journey. Virtue comes to us. Wouldn't that be great if humanity worked the same way? On the physical level, we walk around, we say, hello, I love you. Somebody reaches in their pocket, pulls out a gold coin and gives it to you. Somebody walks by you, they say, hello, I love you. You reach back in your pocket, take out a gold coin, give it to them. That's what happens at the level of soul. We just don't know it. This is the nature of the law of cause and effect. When we serve unconditionally, chant the ten das unconditionally, this is how we clear our blockages. So let's chant to serve them. So let's sit up straight, feet, feet flat on the floor, back away from the back of the chair. Remember what Jing Qi Shen is. Master Shah refers to Jing Qi Shen here. Jing is your matter, Qi is your energy, Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Okay? So we're going to do soul power first. Dear all the Jing Qi Shen, repeat, dear all the Jing Qi Shen of every human being that my ancestors and I have hurt or harmed, including if I or my ancestors have hurt or harmed you for your relationship, in love, in financial flourishing, if I or my ancestors have harmed you physically, caused you to have significant emotional suffering, or caused you to have mental suffering, we deeply apologize. Please forgive us. We know in our hearts, remember you and your ancestors are both talking, we know in our hearts that to only ask for forgiveness is not enough, that we must serve. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. We will offer more humanitarian service. We will chant and we will meditate more to serve you, all you souls. We will serve unconditionally. Dear everyone and everything that has hurt or harmed me and my ancestors, they may have hurt you in love, they may have hurt you in relationship, they may have hurt you financially, they may have hurt you, uh, causing great emotions, causing great mental suffering. I totally forgive you, totally forgive you. 
I forgive you unconditionally. Now we say hello to the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear the source, my beloved creator. Dear heaven and mother earth. Dear the Tao source calligraphy of Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Please forgive me and my ancestors for all of the mistakes that we have made in all of our lifetimes. We are extremely honored and grateful. We know in our heart to ask for forgiveness is not enough, that we must serve, serve, and serve. For mind power, visualize countless souls offering you their forgiveness, you offering other souls your forgiveness for they harming you. When we chant Da Quan Shu, visualize the light going back and forth. Just like I gave you an example where you walk down the street, somebody says, I love you. You give them a gold coin. You go and buy somebody else, you say, I love you. They give you a gold coin. That's what happens when we chant to serve others unconditionally. Right here in this chair, they are transferring virtue to us. We are transferring virtue to them. So let us do this with the greatest love. I will also trace the Da Quan Shu calligraphy that is in this book to serve all of you for a higher and better practice. Okay? So let us chant the four lines of Da Quan Shu. Our Da Quan Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Xiang I Ping An He She our da quan shu wo yuan liang ni ni yuan liang wo xiang ai ping an he she our da quan shu Wo yuan liang ni ni yuan liang wo xiang ai ping an he xie. And now in English, the second of the ten da qualities. I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you. You forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you. You forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. The second of the ten da qualities, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. Our Da Quan Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Xiang Ai Ping An He She Our Da Quan Shu 
，我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐。Beautiful, huh? So keep your eyes closed, and I will do a soul reading in relationship to this practice. <clears throat> How this is the soul of the phrase. Da Quan Chu, the greatest forgiveness. My soul is like a saint or a Buddha. It was created when this wisdom was brought from the Tao into this third-dimensional plane. It carries with it Tao. Creation frequencies. Just by repeating "Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu," you are clearing your spiritual debts. Because by chanting the greatest forgiveness, you are calling upon my soul. I do not come alone. There are many. Many, many, that come with me. There are Da Quan Chu temples. There are Da Quan Chu calligraphies. There are other Da Quan Chu saints and saint animals. There are treasures, gems, and more, infused with the frequencies of Da Quan Chu. So think bigger than your human mind. So that you start to comprehend that the five senses you were endowed with are very limited in the comprehension of the power of chanting my phrase. You are invoking heaven. You are requesting a blessing just through the chanting. I. Hope this additional information assists you each to comprehend the greater value and understanding of why it is of great value to chant or repeat this mantra. I am the soul of the phrase Da Quan Shu. How how how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything has a soul. When this soul wanted to talk, I,、uh, I said, "Is this the soul of the calligraphy? No. Is this the soul of the mantra? No. I heard this is the soul of the words, the phrase Da Quan Chu. So wow. <clears throat> And you know, the, he showed me he was very much like a, you know, like the、uh, the old masters you see with the canes and the and the long. You know, long hair on the chin and、uh, the old attire. That's that's what this saint looked like. So when he was created, the greatest forgiveness, saint power, was brought into him. You know, Buddha power was brought into this, into the soul, and so his service is great and very, 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 very big. So think bigger was his words. If all you chanted throughout the day was Da Quan Chu, 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 what are you chanting? Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. That mantra carries with it this being's power, the temples, the the treasures, and all of the saints and the heavens, generals, and soldiers, saints, animals. They are blessing you, blessing you, blessing you every time you're chanting it. Maybe you stop once in a while. Please forgive me. I forgive you. 
you know you just you just play with it when you're in that state when you're chanting when you're serving in that way you are helping everybody <clears throat> you may be chanting for yourself in your particular conditions but if you're uplifted that helps everybody else because then you're not an unpleasant person to be around but more so than that you make better choices moving forward you don't create more karma because you're busy clearing it by this chanting so it's actually very very deep wisdom the very simple practice of chanting the ten da so I'm gonna help all of you now to remember the ten da because I don't think everybody knows the ten different da's just not not the four lines for each, just the ten da. Okay, da ai da quan shu da ci bei da guang ming da qian bei da he she da chang uh, sheng da gan an da fu wu and da yuan man. And these are Mandarin Chinese, so I don't expect you would know them, but um. Uh, maybe Kristen, uh, she's looking around for how to put all of them up right now because I didn't tell her I was going to do this. <laughs> uh, but it's important. There's actually some beautiful mantras that other masters had created. Da ai da quan shu, da tsu bei da guang ming. Uh, let's see, no, that's not quite it. It's. Um, Minute. <clears throat> I can't quite grab the mantras right now, all of them, but um, there's there's a couple different ones. So let's go over these one by one because I want you to become familiar with things because I'm going to be going over this next 10 days. Da I, greatest love. Repeat. Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Next one, Da Tsi Bei, Si, Si. Da Tsi Bei, greatest compassion, Kuan Yin Mantra. Next one, Da Guang Ming, greatest light. Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Tsi Bei, Da Guang Ming. Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Tsi Bei, Da Guang Ming. Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Tsi Bei, Da Guang Ming. Da Ai Da Quan Shu Da Tsi Bei Da Guang Ming Greatest uh, Greatest Love Forgiveness Compassion Light Love Forgiveness Compassion Light Da Ai Da Quan Shu Da Tsi Bei Da Guang Ming Okay, those are the first four. Five and six are Da Chen Bei and Da He She. Greatest uh, humility and greatest harmony. There are two H's, humility and harmony. That's one way you can remember the right order. Okay? Greatest humility, greatest harmony. Da Chen Bei, Da He She. Repeat. Da Chen Bei, Da He She. 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 So from the beginning, da ai, da quan shu, da tsi bei, da guang ming. One more time, da ai, da quan shu, da tsi bei, da guang ming. And now we add to it, da chen bei, da he she, da chen bei, da he she, da chen bei, da he she. Da ai da ai, and then da quan shu, da tsi bei, da guang ming, da ai da ai da quan shu, da tsi bei, da guang ming, da ai da quan shu, da tsi bei, da guang ming, da ai da quan shu. Da tsi bei da guang ming, da he she da chen, da chen bei da he she, 
Chen Bei and He She are five and six. Not easy to memorize, I understand that. But I will spend a lot of time with you to get these right. And if you can uh, put them on paper and just kind of look at them once in a while and start repeating them, maybe choose one day. It's okay, today I'm going to repeat um, Da Chen Bei, the greatest harmony. Or excuse me, the greatest humility. And you just walk around all day. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. And just do that the whole day. You know, all day long. Egos being removed, negative mindsets being removed, hum uh, uh, actions in which you would stand up and puff your chest out. All of these things would be being removed. You would be kind and courteous. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Michelle. This is actually, you see it sticks out. This is actually a crystal ball inside here from Master Shah. It's, it's got fourth dimensional frequencies in it, so it's blessing me. So thank you for your comment. Da ai da kuan shu da zi bei da guang ming da chen bei da he she. Okay. So you can um, you can start to get used to those one by one by one. Now I don't know if Kristen has found those in the right order and posted them yet. Uh, maybe maybe not because I can't quite tell by the post what I see on my phone. But we'll get those up for you. We'll get a, get you a list. And we'll chant them together. We'll have fun with it, because one of the one of the most fun mantras actually is when you have all ten of them and you just chant the ten das. They call it the ten das. It's really fun to chant it. It's a little tongue twisting sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. And a great, great, great energy and very healing, very cathartic. Okay. Welcome Gilles, welcome Michelle Blanding, welcome also to uh, Phyllis Casper, welcome Don Brown and uh, Kristen Strachan. Thank you all. And welcome also to Pamela Carmel. So we will finish by I will offer everybody a blessing, a forgiveness blessing, okay? So everybody sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. I will ask Kuan Yin to assist with this blessing. Those who have third eye can share. <clears throat> Make a request for one area of your life where you feel you need the greatest forgiveness. One area only where you feel you need the greatest forgiveness. Could be self-forgiveness. You know what it is. Go ahead and make that request. Dear beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi, Kuan Yin, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. Can you please, as appropriate, only if it's appropriate, offer any uh, additional blessings to this request for each and everyone watching at this time, listening on the podcast in the future. This blessing is for one request for the area that you need the greatest forgiveness. Blessing begin. He sure Ding 
Xiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nang Xin Xing Sheng Ming Ar Da Quang Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Xiang Ai Ping An He Xie Last round Yi Shi Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Wa Zai Nang Xin Qing Sheng Ming Ar Da Quang Shu Wo Yuan Liang Ni Ni Yuan Liang Wo Xiang Ai Ping on us, yeah. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, healing treasure, please return. Thank you, beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi Kuan Yin, for your unconditional service. If anyone that has third eye and they saw anything with that blessing, you're welcome to share. I was getting knocked out offering the service. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting when you're when you're delivering the service and you're chanting, but you're almost getting knocked out yourself. So very high frequencies today. Thank you, Heaven, for supporting this practice. <clears throat> and welcome Jennifer Cress Smith. And welcome also Master Sandy. Welcome uh, Pamela. And welcome Carol Whitney. And thank you, Pamela, for posting the ten das. If you if it hasn't been posted yet, uh, or you haven't seen it yet, Pamela has posted the ten das listed in a row in her chat, and so you can copy paste them there if you'd like. Uh, you're very welcome, Jill. Thank you for coming. Great to see you here. <clears throat> and it was a very pure message from the soul of uh, Daquan Chu also. It was very nice to hear that message. That all you have to do is just chant Daquan Chu. So many beings of light come to serve you. Very simple. Kathy saw the brightest light, crying, saw a huge white light. Sasha says, the voice knocked her out. Haha. <laughs> Sasha, Sasha is, a, is actually a musician of her own accord. So I imagine her voice is quite a bit better. So I don't know if uh, Catherine or Pamela saw anything. I know they have third eye. Curious to see if anybody saw Kuan Yin show up behind me here. Yes, countless bow downs to Master Shah. Absolutely. Okay, so the finishing bell just went off. <clears throat> so tomorrow, this week, um, unless, I, I believe I'm safe this week, they're doing a switch over at the chanting channel for Master Shah, and so I'm required to be available for emergencies. I don't think there's going to be any tomorrow, uh, but it's possible. So I will intend to be here tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for coming and joining. Thank you for sharing this to your family and friends. And we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, when I go into the third of the ten das, Datsu Bei. Datsu Bei means the greatest compassion. Okay? We will learn that mantra, we will learn some of the wisdom, and we will move forward uh, with these great, great, great uh, wisdoms. So thank you. A couple of people got knocked out also. 
So yeah, very high frequency. So thank you all. We'll see you manana. Bye-bye, everybody.